Hello everyone, this is Dr. Prashant and welcome back to UGC NET series. In this video, I will be talking about basic measures of fertility and reproduction along with solved demographic questions from December 2023 paper. So these are some of the important concepts which I will try to cover in this video. So let's look into each of them briefly. To start with child women ratio, it is nothing but the number of children under age 5 per thousand women of child bearing age in a given year. So the formula becomes in the numerator we take the number of children under age 5 divided by number of women of age group 15 to 49 okay because we are talking about child bearing age multiplied by 1000. Crude birth rate so whenever you see the word crude always remember in the denominator we need to take the total median population okay so the formula becomes CBR is equal to number of births per year in the numerator and total median population in the denominator multiplied by 1000. Coming to general fertility rate or GFR, it is equal to number of births per year in the numerator which is same but in the denominator instead of total population, total mid-year population, here we take number of women of age group 15 to 49, only the reproductive age group women multiplied by 1000. Similarly, age specific fertility rate, okay. So in this case, we will be considering only specific age group, both in numerator and in the denominator. So ASFR or age specific fertility rate is equal to number of births to a woman of specific age group divided by number of women of specific age group multiplied by 1000. Total fertility rate, it is the average number of children a woman would give birth to during her lifetime if she were to pass through her childbearing years that is 15 to 49 experiencing the present day age specific fertility rates okay so basically it is the average number of children a woman would give birth to during her childbearing years okay so if you know the age specific fertility rate or if you can calculate the age specific fertility rates the formula for tfr will become sum of age specific fertility rates multiplied by width of age group interval divided by 1000 what does it mean Whenever I say age specific fertility rates, there are three different ranges. For example, 30 to 35, 35 to 40, 40 to 45. We need to calculate age specific fertility rates for all the three groups. Then you need to multiply that with the width of age group interval. Whenever I say width of age group interval, in this example, when I said 30 to 35, right? So the width will become 5. So we need to multiply with 5 and divided by 1000. Gross reproduction rate. It is the average number of daughters that would be born to a woman during her lifetime if she passes through her childbearing years conforming to the age specific fertility rates of a given year. So in this case we are considering only daughters. Okay. So GRR is like TFR which we have discussed in the previous slide but it counts only daughters where it is the average number of children in TFR. Okay. But in this case it is only number of daughters. So that's the difference. So the formulas for GRR will become GRR is equal to sum of age specific fertility rates multiplied by proportion of females. That means I mean proportion of female births. So it will become number of female births F divided by total births male plus female or in terms of TFR GRR is equal to TFR multiplied by proportion of females. It is same number of female divided by total births. So in most circumstances, GRR is roughly equal to half that of TFR. And now coming to net reproduction rate, it is the average number of daughters that would be born to a woman if she passed through her lifetime from birth to end of her reproductive years conforming to the age specific fertility and mortality rates of a given year. So in this case, along with the age specific fertility rates, we are considering mortality rates also. So NRR or net reproduction rate is always less than GRR. Why? Because it takes into account the fact that some women will die before entering and completing their childbearing years because we are considering mortality in this case. So NRR will be less than half the magnitude of TFR. Replacement level fertility. So it is an important concept. So whenever we say we have reached replacement level fertility that means net reproduction rate is equal to 1 or surviving women in the hypothetical cohort have exactly enough daughters to replace themselves in the population. So at this time of replacement level fertility, GRR will be more than 1 and TFR will be more than 2. And whenever we say net reproduction rate is equal to 1, it does not imply that crude birth rate and crude death rate are equal. And also 
population growth is equal to 0. So these two does not imply when we say NRR is equal to 1. So this is very important. Okay, now we will solve the previous year questions. Uh, these are questions from 2023 December paper. So in the first question, they are asking us to find the relationship between GRR and TFR. So we have already discussed in most of the circumstances, GRR is equal to half that of TFR. So it is option 2. And now coming to second question, uh, in this question, they are asking us to calculate the crude birth rate. So we know the formula, okay, crude birth rate is nothing but number of births per year divided by total mid-year population okay whenever you see the term crude the denominator becomes total mid-year population multiplied by 1000 right so in this question the number of buds per year are 280 okay total number of live buds in the table you can check it in the table divided by total mid-year population so it was given in the question so total mid-year population in year 2022 was 10,000 so 280 divided by 10,000 multiplied by 1000 so it's option 1 and now coming to third question, they are asking us to calculate the ASFR, age specific fertility rate. So both in the numerator and denominator, we need to look for the specific age group. So in this, in this question, the age group is 25 to 34. Okay. So the formula is in the numerator, number of births to a woman of specific age group, 25 to 34. So go to the table, check the age group 25 to 34 and how many births it is? 1, 2, 0, number of live births. Okay divided by number of women of specific age group how many women are there in the age group 25 to 34 it's 800 females right so 120 divided by 800 and multiplier is 1000 so answer is 150 so now coming to the next question uh, they are asking us to calculate the tfr so i already told if you can calculate asfr the tfr formula becomes sum of age specific fertility rates multiplied by width of age group interval divided by 1000 okay so you know the formula for age specific fertility rate right number of births that is 98 divided by the number of females in that age group that is 700 for age group 15 to 24 so 98 sorry 98 divided by 700 plus for 25 to 34 it will become 120 divided by 800 plus for 35 to 44 it will become 62 divided by 500 females so we need to multiply it with 1000 as a multiplier for ASFR formula, okay? So after that, multiply it with width of age group interval. So in this case, the age group is 15 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44. So the difference is 10. So in this case, the width is 10 and divided by 1000. If you solve it, you will get around 4.14. And now coming to the next question, general fatality rate. They are asking us to calculate the GFR. The formula for GFR is number of births per year in the numerator divided by number of women of age group 15 to 49 multiplied by 1000. Okay. So in the numerator, it will be number of births per year. It is 280 total births, right? Divided by number of women of age group 15 to 49. So total number of females is around 2000. So 280 divided by 2000 multiplied by 1000. So the answer is third option. Okay, uh, there is one more question from demography in the December 2023 paper, a numerical question. So I thought I'll try to include it in the same video. So let's read the question. As per census 2011, India's average annual exponential growth rate was 1.64. Taking this rate into consideration, number of years required for the population to double in size will be. So basically they are asking us to calculate the time required for the population to become double. We have a standard formula p is equal to p naught into e power rt right where p is the total population after time t p naught is the starting population and r is the percentage rate of growth in this question it is 1.64 t is equal to time that we need to calculate e is the Euler's number or mathematical constant which is equal to 2.72 so if you take the initial population as p population after t will become 2p so now substitute the values in the formula okay in place of p, we need to write 2p that is equal to p0 which is initial population. I took it as p. We will put it as p multiplied by e mathematical constant that is 2.72 power of r is 1.64 percentage. So 1.64 by 100 multiplied by t. So this is the equation but it is very difficult to calculate in exam right. So we have another short I mean a shorter version of this formula t is equal to natural log of 2 divided by r or natural log of 
2 is equal to 0 0.693 divided by r. So whenever you see this type of question uh, in the next exam, you can directly start from this equation 0 0.693 and divided by r is given as 1.64 percentage. So if you remove the percentage, it will become 0 0.0164. So 0 0.693 divided by 0 0.0164 is equal to 42 years. So the answer is third option. You can also do it by using another formula that is nothing but 70 divided by annual growth rate in percentage. So what is the advantage of this? You don't need to convert 1.64 percentage into number. Okay, You can directly put 1.64 in the denominator but in the numerator you need to take 70. So 70 divided by what is the annual growth rate in percentage? It is 1.64. So 70 divided by 1.64 will be 42 years approximately. But in the same question, uh, if the growth rate is given as 2, so 70 divided by 2. So the answer is 35 years. I hope it's clear. Thank you.